In 2012, Europol's European Cybercrime Center, EC3, and Trend Micro completed an exercise to anticipate the state of technology and cybercrime in 2020. We imagined a future society with both the possibilities and the consequences of technological advancement. Now that 2020 is here, let's take a moment to see which of our predictions came to life and which did not. We accurately predicted new employment patterns, known as the gig economy, Etsy maker, Uber driver, portfolio career, I'm talking about you. Open sourcing intellectual property is becoming the norm. Many mobile device makers, for example, share patents, and GitHub is full of open source projects included within apps of all kinds. Today, consumers accept a lower level of privacy and security by offering their personal data as payment, whether they realize it or not. Fortunately, global regulations continue to be adopted, helping individuals regain control of their personal data. People today use numerous online persona already, a concept that we developed in a much broader capacity for banking or voting, for example. As remote working becomes the norm, expect this to increase. The lines between cybersecurity and national security have blurred. This trend will only increase as 5G and other infrastructure advancements become more widespread. The web has given power to the people as individuals have created global communities and movements that have influenced local, regional and global policy all through social media. Cybersecurity has become an important industry as individuals, businesses and governments produce increasing amounts of data. We posited a blend of risk-based and control-based cybersecurity that is roughly reflected today. Threat actors have moved a significant proportion of their focus towards connected and mobile devices, cryptocurrencies, crowdsourced information and social media. AR developments are ongoing, but it's not a mainstream technology with everyday use, as we envisioned it would be. We didn't call out artificial intelligence explicitly. While machine learning and AI as a back-end technology was present in the scenarios, it's not something we expected to become a key buzzword. We've learned a lot from analyzing our predictions. However, 2020 has also shown us that unforeseen world events can totally derail annual predictions. We look forward to putting what we've learned into practice for our next project, predicting 2030.